should have had such good times, such good times, such good times, such good times. Ah, all gone. All gone, Quins. All gone. Now, I can review whatever I want to review. But first... Hmm... Huh? It's a bit harsh. <laughs> Lucian doesn't. Seasons is a very pretty game, a very pretty wizard, and there's nothing that we love more, that I love more at Shut Up and Sit Down than pretty wizards and, and all that entails. And I've been promised that somewhere in this box, among all these dice and all these tokens and, 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 and all these, these cards, there's great power, but immediately obvious to anyone who opens of seasons is is the color with great power it would seem comes a great palette yeah this game is a rainbow in a box it's an explosion of color just waiting to burst out at you the art on the cards the design even the cool iconography on the dice it looks fantastic another guy is just happy to move wooden tokens around i don't even usually care about this kind of thing but as soon as i saw seasons as soon as i started pulling it out of the box before i knew anything about it i thought this is one of the most attractive games that Shut Up and Sit Down has ever covered. It's not like me to be so immediately excited by the appearance of a game, but come on, just this once, let me pleasure my senses a little longer. Let me breathe in the colour of seasons, enjoy the tactility of these enormous, cacophonous, titanic dice that make such a din when you roll them, they're practically earthquake machines. In the game of seasons, you and your fellow players are trying to become the very best wizards in the magical forest of Argos, which is interesting because I've been to Argos, it's not really very magical or wizardy. But anyway, you have three years to do so, and at the end of those three years, who's the best wizard? Well, obviously the one with the most crystals. How do you get crystals? Easy. Just manipulate those titular seasons, amass magic items and make efficient use of your magical energy, a cinch. Every turn starts the same way. You'll track the passage of time around this circular calendar and then you'll roll the dice of the corresponding colour to the season that you find yourself in. That could be blue for winter, green for spring, yellow for summer or red for autumn or if you're foreign, fall. Make no mistake about it, these dice are very cool. They're all covered in a kind of a strange alien iconography and that tells you what you get to do on your turn if you choose that die. You'll always roll one more die than the amount of players around the table and in turn you'll pick the die that you want based on what it's showing, what you think you want to do this turn, and then the die that's left, well, that does something a bit special but we'll get to that in a moment. These dice represent your first wizardly decisions of the day and they can already be difficult decisions. They're decisions about what kind of stuff you want to get. This dice in the middle allows you to draw a card. That card's a magic item or a familiar that you might be able to deploy later. This dice here allows you to draw a summer power token and the star means you can advance your summoning track. This dice here allows you to draw a winter power token, which is the drop, and an autumn power token, which is the little leaf thing. I don't think that's a feather. It could be a feather, I don't know. But it also allows you to do a little bit of alchemy. The circle symbol around everything means you can transmute power tokens you have into crystals. And remember, crystals are how you win. Now, every wizard player has a little wizard board in front of them, which is kind of like a wizard spreadsheet, I suppose. It just, it lets them keep track of all their wizardly affairs. You slot in your energy tokens as you receive them across the top and there's a hard limit on those. 
And this starry series of numbers, that's the summoning track. That lets you know how many cards you can deploy. Each of these cards does something special, and that could be as simple as giving you a few more crystals, which will set you off on the road to victory, won't it? Short-term thinking. There are cards here that recur. There are cards here that trigger other cards. There are cards here that have different abilities depending upon what else is going on in the game. Now, a true wizard, a true wizard stocks their lab with cards, with items that are dependent upon each other to become more powerful. Cards that trigger one another in explosions of magical energy. You, if you're a good wizard, if you're really good, you will have crystals coming out of your c**k. Oh god, oh god, oh god, the crystal, the crystal! Oh, wizard's work is never done. Oh. Now, you'll remember that I said you can also do a bit of alchemy on your turn, a bit of magical transmutation. You can if you picked a dice that has a circular symbol around everything else. This allows you to transform your different coloured power tokens into crystals, although the time of year will affect how much they're worth. Different tokens are worth different amounts in different seasons. It's a good way to spend them, providing you don't have cards you want to play. Collecting cards is easy. Playing them requires you to pay the cost at the bottom. Now, that's more than enough decisions for just one wizard to be making. You've got to think about what die you want to claim based on what power tokens it's going to give you, based on how valuable those tokens may be this season, or perhaps on what cards you want to play. Or perhaps you can't play any cards because the summoning track isn't high enough and you filled up your tableau already. But you're not just one wizard anyway, you're playing with one or two or three other wizards and they're all thinking about what cards they want, what power tokens they want, and they're looking at what you're doing, they're looking at your tableau and they're trying to find ways to sabotage what you're doing as well as advancing their own agenda. And then there's the die that nobody picks at the end. Don't forget that die, that die will have a certain number of pips face up, and that's how far the calendar advances. You may change season, you may not. Other players will try not to pick a certain die to affect the speed of the game, to rush themselves to victory, or give themselves extra time to finish their plans. Picking dice is a big decision. It's at least as big as a decision on blind date. Would you like to pick die number one, who will give you two autumn power tokens and two crystals in the bargain? Cheeky! Die number two is a little shy, but willing to let you draw a card. Die number three is into summer magic, advancing your summoner track and a little bit of transmutation. The choice is yours. It's die number three! Oh, die number three. I've had such a good time. Thanks for coming back to my place, too. Uh, look, I, I know you're into transmutation. I wondered if there might be any alchemy between us. Ooh, Ooh. so... <clears throat> Seasons, then, is a heck of a game. I mean, it's a looker but it's got real smarts. It's full of interlinked, interdependent systems that call back to one another, but it's not a slow game. Even though all your decisions matter, once everyone's chosen their die, you're free to get on with your turns together. It's gorgeous. It's so interesting. It's so head-scratching, and I really, really do recommend it. If, also, if you're one of those people who adores expansions, and we I, I used to know, if you know someone who adores expansions, there's an expansion called Enchanted Kingdom. Um, and you can be really happy at how many cards are in the... In there are a lot more cards, because it's a game of having a lot of cards, and you can look at your friends, and you can say, um, look, look, there's more... Look, Quins, there's more cards. Come back. Come back, there's more cards. Um, and special powers. All of you will have special powers. Um, and if I had one reservation about this game, it would be that amongst all the cards, I don't know what there is that Pear expected me to find, to, to bring him back amongst all these cards. 
the tree of light. That's nice. The mirror of the seasons. The, it's the necrotic Chris. Discard or sacrifice one of your familiars. That'll bring him back. One of your familiars. Yes. Yes. He'll join me. Or we'll get Quinn's back. Either way. Either way. Oh, hey, how are you? Uh, I have kind of a proposition for you. You should come round tomorrow. We'll have a chat, play some games. We should have started playing games earlier. We could have had such good times. I don't know what held us back. The proposition. Oh, it's, uh, it's no big deal. It doesn't matter whether you accept or not. Uh, I'll be happy one way or another. Brendan, you're here. Come in. Come in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I told you we could have fun, Brendan. You and me. This is all we really need. Us together. No Quins. Forget about all those shenanigans. Where is Quins, anyway? Uh, I... <laughs> Who needs him? Who needs him? Just... Just us. Just us now, Brendan. Just us, uh, playing, playing games, reviewing games, you and I, playing games all the time. Yeah, yeah I, how about that? I, yeah. don't, I don't know about that, Paul. Yeah. I'm, mm, maybe not. I got a lot of, I got a lot of work to do, and I, I, I don't know any of the rules to these games. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Great! <sighs> well... It's a shame, Brendan. We could have had such a good time. Yeah, well. Say, I, uh, I noticed you've got a lot of uh, meat in the fridge. Is, what kind of meat is that? Is, uh... Oh, I have. Well, you know, uh, you can freeze meat. You can buy it in bulk. There's, uh, there's no reason not to do that. It's on offer. So, uh, you know, just, just stocking up for the winter, I suppose. So, um... Are you sure you don't want to borrow something? There's there's plenty of games in the pile. There's Romans and um, Stone Age things, fantasy, Settlers of Catan. Uh, no, no, I, I, I think I'm okay. Thanks. I, you are. You are. You are. Well, here's to, to whatever else then. Never mind. So... Um, what else do you have planned? Uh, not much. So I'm probably just gonna go to work, get on with life. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I've got a couple of reviews lined up. Really, really interesting games. Um, and I was thinking of... I was think... <coughs> I was thinking of... <coughs> 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 I finally got my... I finally got... <coughs> I finally got my... Oh! You... Oh! Oh! I finally got... I finally got... I could have had such good fun, Brendan. <coughs> I'm so disappointed in you. I suppose sometimes you just have to go it alone in this business. It was a nice try. I appreciate the game in itself, but uh, 
have to be a bit smarter than that, a bit quicker with me. No, I'm sorry. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>